Welcome to Tech with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about conditional split uh, transformation uh, in Azure Data Factory. So, first of all, uh, why we use it? Uh, conditional split can be very useful when uh, you are uh, getting uh, data from one stream, uh, such as maybe it's the SV file or uh, maybe some uh, uh, table, and then you would like to divide that data into multiple streams uh, and then maybe load to the multiple tables. Um. So, here in this scenario, we are going to read the data from one CSV file and load to the multiple uh, tables in Azure Data Factory. Uh, sorry, in the Azure SQL database. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and take a look on scenario. Here is my file uh, and uh, it's called the total CSV file. Uh. This file is my famous file because I've been using it in different demos. Um. Now, it has one of the columns called the region. Uh. We have Asia region. We have North America region and we have Europe region. So think about that. There are tons of data coming up in the CSV files and you would like to divide that data according to the region. So it means we will be creating a different tables. So here is my total sale table and let's go ahead and create in tech versus ITDB and then we will create a multiple tables such as Asia, Europe and North America. So I'm going to go ahead and create an Asia table here then I'm going to copy this and uh, paste and just uh, then we'll do Europe and uh, from Europe what's going to happen we also have to do for North America so that table is ready and then uh, finally we'll do North America so why I'm uh, uh, creating this uh, different tables in front of you because uh, I want to give you uh, how to even create these tables um, you know I have seen people like me they were actually having hard time even creating table how to connect or what to you know there, there are tons of uh, scenarios uh, you know i can see by myself even struggling with things though so now we our tables are getting ready and uh, now the last table is uh, north america and uh, we can see the data so our goal is uh, uh, move the data according to the region and if the region uh, is not matching with our asia europe or north america then just move that data here in this uh, total sale Okay, so let's uh, select everything from these tables and as of now we can see that there is no data in these four tables. So you just, uh, I'm going to refresh so you can see the list of the tables here as well. Now, if you remember that we don't have any data here that does not match with any region, so I'm going to make that data. So I'm going to copy the one row, paste it there and then I'm going to call it Africa. Okay. Africa. So this region we don't even have that. So we are just uh, we save this data. There is only one record, and we are all good. Let's go to the Azure Data Factory, and uh, then we are going to create a data flow. Once you go to the data flow here, you are going to be going to the source, add source, and then uh, we will be creating data set. Uh, here you will select uh, Azure Blob Storage, uh, and uh, why? Because our file is sitting there, so it's called CSV file. And now we will create a link service. In the link service, we will select our subscription and then the storage of where our file is sitting now. So I'm going to go ahead and create this link service called Azure Blob Story 13. Now I will navigate to the input container and that has a file. That's all good here. Yes, first row has header. That's fine. And read the, uh, the or import the schema. Yeah, that's fine as well. So let's do that. And now I will go here in the source option and I'm going to add an extra column. That column will tell me if what is the file name I'm loading. In my case, I have single file, but think about that. You have 20 files and you want to know the data came from which file. So that's uh, uh, the new column is uh, created. Now we can go to projections here and we can see all the data here. And one of the column is uh, sole data. That should not be string. So I'm going to change to the data. Also, change the format of uh, data because it has month, day, and year format. Uh, so if I don't do that, it will get me null values for this column that I don't want in. Now, I can go ahead and preview my data and let's refresh. Our data has been extracted and it is displayed. We can see the region here. We see the region right there. And then we see the file name column as well. So on the region, uh, that's where we are going to make some decisions. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to the this uh, plus sign here and use a conditional split. Uh, now in the condi conditional split, uh, it uh, uh, brought me two branches right away. So if you see right there, that's the enter uh, output stream name and this is uh, for the default values. Uh, so let's say if I will put some expressions here, then uh, the remaining uh, will rows will go right there. So let me go, you know, uh, uh, 
let's uh, just uh, I actually I'm using first matching condition uh, uh, if you have uh, multiple matching conditions uh, then you can uh, add that as well uh, so in my case uh, let's go with the first matching condition we'll do another demo on all matching conditions later now here uh, whenever the, the our first matching condition is going to be completed uh, then uh, we, it's going to split the record into the branches uh, now let's give uh, some proper name here enter output stream name I'm going to call this one Asia okay and then uh, for this one I'm going to go ahead and add another one and I'm going to call this one Europe okay and then uh, see every time I'm clicking uh, it's adding a new branch but this default stays as it is um, so I'm going to go click again and now I'm going to say North America okay we are all good here and then uh, finally we can uh, give say default okay or we can say remaining regions so whatever the name you want to give and here we would like to add some conditions so right here add the expression builder go right there and here we will be adding our expressions so remember that we want the region to be asia so region region slash asia okay so we are looking for asia and once the region is asia it's going to create this branch and get the records for only asia in this branch for us now what we can do i don't have to go back to expressions i can simply copy and paste here and then just remove uh, the Asia and uh, write to Europe. Uh, same thing I can do for North America. So I can simply here North America. So this looks good. And then uh, whatever is uh, left over that will be given here. In our case, it's only one record that does not match with this criteria. That's Africa. So now we have this uh, four branches and we need to add to the sink. Uh, so I'm going to click right there. And here I'm going to bring a sink. Uh, now in the sink, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to go to the create new and uh, here we are saying Azure SQL DB and uh, right there and we create the link service. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and create new link service uh, and in this case uh, it will ask me my subscription, my database server name, my database name and then my username and password. So TB user and then we'll provide uh, the password. Test our connection and success now we create it looks good and here it's asking you hey this is a branch that Asia records uh, uh, we should put in which table we are gonna say DBO total sale Asia that's what it is and hit OK now what I need to do I can simply go to the next and right here and uh, type sync and now click on sync here and then uh, I can select uh, the uh, same uh, right here that's uh, the link service we created uh, but we have to change uh, the table name uh, so I'm gonna go open here and uh, then uh, instead of uh, Asia we'll do Europe okay that should do it and then uh, we are gonna go right there go to next one sync and here uh, we will do sync and uh, just on the sync uh, we'll go back here in the data set and uh, right there I can change let me see if uh, I don't think so I have to re uh, here Asia Europe and uh, Europe so let me see if I have to create actually multiple data sets for each of the table that might be the case so I just want to go over one time and let me uh, see here I am using Azure SQL table and uh, now if I will open it's pointing to Europe and uh, that's the problem so I have to actually do create uh, different data sets for each of the table uh. so that's fine no big deal we can create a different data sets here okay so for sync one uh, if you notice here and uh, what I can do I can open and change to Asia okay Asia and also link service will stay the same now in this case uh, what I can do I have this uh, uh, see right there I can change the name so I will say Total sale DS total sale Asia. DS total sale Asia. So I will not make a mistake again. So here in the data flow, fine, this looks good. Let's go to the another one. And uh, here uh, I can uh, open this one. And uh, it's a Europe. So that's fine. So we can, uh, this is Europe. So we can uh, just go back open. And here we can change this. Uh, so I'm going to call it DS total sale Europe okay 
So see right there, now we are given proper name and uh, that's what I like. So we don't have to worry. We can, here we can open and if you see that it's using total Asia and uh, the name is uh, already, so this is using wrong uh, data set. So we will be creating a, a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and say new and uh, in the, not the link service. I'm gonna go back to data flow here and now I'm gonna click sync three and uh, right there, I will say new in the data set, I'm gonna create new here. And uh, Azure. So now link service uh, that we have to say, link services Azure uh, SQL database, uh, these all are pointing to the actually same uh, uh, database here, you know, so not a big deal. So here it will be uh, our North America. And I'm gonna give a proper name called the DS uh, Total Sale and M North America. So that should do it. Now the last one is the so see right there. That's a proper name uh, naming convention I'm giving now. So that's what you should be doing too. So you don't mess up. So there would be each a different data set. Um, I'm gonna make it small, and then uh, we can just. Uh, right there and this is our last one and we can hit sync add and then we go to the data set here new use the azure sql and here we will be using a now these are link services are pointing to same database so no big deal so we will be using a total sale and i am going to give the name call it ds remaining region okay so that will tell us uh, all these uh, are for the remaining region and that's it so we don't have a whole lot to do and uh, we read from one split the data into the multiple uh, streams and here if you want to preview you can go ahead and preview and once you preview you can uh, see for each of the region now so here you can see that uh, we have region uh, Asia and uh, uh, we have records for Pakistan and India. And if I want to see records for a branch called the Europe and uh, then uh, it's going to show me the data for Europe. Uh, same way you can see the data from different uh, regions such as North America or all remaining regions. Uh. So once uh, that's done, uh, our final goal will be like see right here. This is for Europe and uh, that's all. Now our goal is uh, to create the pipeline and here in this pipeline we are going to call this the data flow. So once the pipeline is created, drag this data flow here and now you are good to go and debug. And it should load the data to our four tables that we created in Azure right here. So we should have one record here that will be with the region Africa. Then we should have all the records for Asia and then all the records for Europe should go here and then all the records for North America should go here. Our data flow has been completed successful and pipeline as well. So now we can click right here on the details and take a look. Here you can see that sync one, sync two, and sync four all completed. And here is, if you wanna see more details, you can see right there. So these are just the columns and all that. So close this and then go back here. So in source, if you see that we read, 12 records. Now once the data is given to the condition split, uh, you can see right there, uh, total rows calculated and uh, see we have a four here and the four went there and uh, three went there, four went there and one went there. So you can see the data, how much data is uh, split from uh, this uh, conditional split. Uh, now that looks good and let's go to the table and take a look. In the total sale, we should have only one record. Because we uh, any region that was not in Asia, Europe or North America, that should be coming here. So we have Africa region and that's why we have this record. Now let's go to the Asia table and uh, here we have data for Asia. Now let's go to the Europe and we should have data for Europe region. And then finally for North America. So see right there. Okay, so this is how you will be using a conditional split to split the data into multiple streams uh, and uh, writing to different destinations in Azure Data Factory. I thank you for watching uh, my videos and uh, supporting. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys uh, in next video.